So full disclosure, we'd like to give some thanks to MedTech Sweden for uh, use of this vacuum mattress in these educational videos. Um, before we go through using this piece of equipment with, uh, with a patient in a simulated scenario, I think it's useful to go through some of the features and the points of performance uh, so that we understand that before we're actually using this with an uh, with a, uh, actor patient. So um, as you can see, the uh, vacuum mattress has some good handholds, which can allow you to transport the patient with just the mattress uh, a short distance over moderate terrain, say to a vehicle or a helicopter. Um, you additionally have uh, a port here where you can use the pump to remove the air. Um, a new feature that's been added to these is the label that says, do not take off valve completely. An error that some people would make would be to unscrew the venting valve too far. That becomes disconnected from the mattress. And at that point, you have no way to engage the vacuum anymore. So that's a, that's a helpful reminder. And obviously, if that's uh, not already on your mattress, you might want to add some labeling for that. Um, when you're activating the vacuum, you'll want to screw this down all the way. Um, it's also important not to, not to let any sticks or other objects go down into that valve. Deep inside there, there's a screen that keeps the beads inside the mattress from, uh, from being able to spill out. So it's important you keep that intact so that your, uh, your equipment remains in good working order. Um, as I mentioned, the mattress itself is full of small styrofoam beads. And so as we uh, activate the mattress, then the sides begin to compress under the vacuum. All those beads are compressed together and the uh, soft, kind of pliable surface of the mattress will then become rigid. And so before we put a patient on this, then we're gonna prepare it. And what we wanna do is just go ahead and just kind of give it a, a quick shake and spread out those beads a little bit so they're kind of evenly distributed throughout the mattress. And that's gonna allow it to work uh, as designed in a, in a good way for us. That's particularly important if the device has been stored for a long period of time. Okay, so once we put our patient on here, we'll just use kind of standard moves and lifts, and we want to index their head to the top of the mattress. If they're too tall, we'll let their feet uh, go off the end, but you want to secure their head kind of right about at the top of the mattress here. Once the patient is on the mattress, then you'll go ahead and sort of mold it around them and then use the color-coded straps to, <clears throat> uh, to then kind of just wrap the, the litter or excuse me, wrap the mattress around the, uh, around the patient. Once we've secured all our straps satisfactorily, then we're ready to go ahead and engage the vacuum. So we'll take our pump, make sure the valve, uh, the valve is tightened all the way down, and then go ahead and engage the, uh, the pump, and that's just a, just a friction fit. And once that's in there, I can then just use this pump and go ahead and start to evacuate the, uh, the mattress here. And so this will just take a minute or two. And as I do this, I don't want to be particularly aggro. If you're really motivated, you're a really strong person, you really start uh, being aggressive with this, it is possible to damage these lightweight pumps. So just a gentle, steady pressure to go ahead and get all the air out of the mattress. Um, as I start to evacuate the air, you can start to see the, the texture will reveal the beads there. And I can tell I'm getting close to having the vacuum fully engaged. I start to feel some resistance on the pump, and I think we're about there. So now I'll go ahead and disconnect the pump. And this is tight. I'll just go ahead and put this safety cap over top of it. And at this point, now our mattress has molded to the patient and is now a rigid construct to support their injuries. And so as you can see, this, <laughs> this mattress, well, it was now really flexible and able to conform to the patient is now uh, a rigid structure that's able to support different injuries.